the violence today between Israel and, and Gaza is the, the worst that there's, uh, that there's been since Operation Cast Lead four years ago. Israel right now is in an election season, um, and the government is running on a platform of security and stability, which um, it makes them look completely impotent if they cannot stop hundreds of rockets from raining down on their citizenry. The citizenry has a real demand, um, and a, a real demand for, uh, for safety and security. Um, and also from the perspective of the Israeli government, they want to change the rules of the game. Um, they want to reestablish deterrence with Hamas, the kind of deterrence that has not existed um, in a number of years now. Um, so they want to force um, uh, Hamas to, to do things differently. And I think on the Palestinian side, it's the same, it's, it's the obverse calculation that Hamas wants to show that despite the fact that it gets hit hard by Israel, um, it can continue to send rockets and they will not bow. Um, to the pressure being exerted on them from the other side. If this uh, goes on and Israel gets uh, pulled into a ground invasion into Gaza, um, that can really change the, the political dy dynamic completely. What will Israel do if it does end up um, incurring into and potentially reoccupying parts of the Strip? That's a, that's a very important question. Um, that's an especially important question within the changing regional framework. Um, we have a, we're in a new Middle East uh, with new actors, um, and we have the, both Israel and the Palestinians and Hamas uh, trying to calculate what this violence will mean for each of them vis-a-vis -vis their relationship with Egypt. Um, they have to uh, calculate what this me might mean in terms of consequences in the West Bank uh, for a weakened Palestinian authority that now has a people watching um, Israel repress uh, uh, Palestinians in Gaza, even as uh, the authorities in the West Bank are shutting down uh, demonstrations in solidarity with Gaza. Uh, you have questions about Jordan. There are uh, protests happening as we speak in Jordan, uh, which mainly are economic so far, um, but it looks horribly unseemly for a Jordanian government to be repressing uh, a, a citizenry um, of, of which 50 or more, 60 percent, is Palestinian at the same time that Israelis are, Israel, is, Israel is going after Palestinians in Gaza. And then you have the question of Hezbollah with its back up against the wall in Lebanon because of pressures uh, from the Syrian uh, uprising. And what does Hezbollah do? Does Hezbollah get involved? Does it not want to get involved from uh, Lebanon? So, in, so it chooses to maybe try to get involved from Sinai. What does that then mean in terms of Israeli action in Sinai and the uh, potential reaction of Egyptian public opinion to the Israeli involvement on Egyptian soil? I mean, these are, these are incredibly complex questions with regional consequences as a result of the uh, changes within the Middle East region. This ends uh, by, most sustainably by uh, a, a regional agreement to respond to the regional challenges that I was just talking about. What we've seen over the past couple of years is a succession of bilateral uh, agreements or indirect bilateral agreements between Israel and Hamas that obviously have not gotten to the root causes. Um, in order to get to the root causes, you're going to have to uh, normalize life in Gaza, uh, both uh, on the border with uh, border with Egypt as well as um, the border with Israel. That should go along with the normalization of Hamas's political position uh, so that it, um, it has done so to a certain extent uh, regionally, but that's going to have to be broader if we want to sustainably end this violence. Uh, there needs to be a real cessation of uh, rocket attacks and violence for Israel because uh, hundreds of rockets landing on Israeli territory and terrorizing Israeli citizens is obviously not acceptable either for the Israeli public or for its government. And finally, there needs to be a, a resolution or an agreement for what role the Ramallah-based PA uh, in the West Bank plays in this Gaza equation. If we are to have a resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, there needs to be a Palestinian entity to, to, to hold up that, uh, to, to implement that, that agreement. Um, and so until all three of these pieces are included, the situation in Gaza, um, the violence for Israel, uh, the uh, West Bank peace, and the regional piece, how, um, how these three actors are going to in interact with their regional neighbors and partners, um, you're not going to have a sustainable, a sustainable resolution. What, what, we've, what we've learned is that, um, that until there is a, a regional solution, the uh, bilateral violence cannot stop.